Hi, this is Dan. Today I'd like to play a game of 4-minute blitz chess on FICS. So I opened pawn to e4, and my opponent played pawn to e5, and I continued pawn to d4, which is the center game. And uh, normally black will exchange there, but uh, black decided to instead move pawn to d6. And when I captured on e5, had black recaptured, I could have captured the queen on d8 with check, and um, then the king would have had to recapture, and black could not have castled. So anyway, let's take another pawn and uh, go from there. We'll play our knight to c3, and uh, we need to protect... Well, the, the pawn on e4 is protected enough, but let's play the pawn, the bishop over to d3 just to protect it again. The other bishop to d2. And let's play the knight to e2. Uh, let's see if black will trade knights on e2. If so, I'll use my queen to recapture, which would allow me to castle either kingside or queenside. So I, I have the choice now. And I think I'll... black castled queenside, I think I'll do the same. It uh, looks like my queenside is a little bit stronger than my kingside. So we'll go that way. And um, I think I'll play this move, pawn to f4, um, gaining some space on the king side. And okay, let's decide what to do here. I think uh, I'll attack the bishop by playing pawn to f5 first. And then um, let's see what black wants to do about this bishop on b4. Okay, so black exchanges pieces on c3, and um, I think from, for, for right now, let's move the bishop over to c4, and uh, let's just start to build up some pressure on the d-file. So my rook on d1 is strong, uh, there are no pawns on the d-file, so we, we say the d-file is open. Okay, so if black wants to trade rooks, um, that's all right. I'll just move my rook up to d3, and then... Oh, really? Okay. Um... Okay, well, this, this should still be all right. Let's first trade queens, and then play this check over on e6, which should force the king back to b8, or force the rook to block. And if the rook blocks, my bishop can take with check. And if the king goes back, I actually have a checkmate on d8. So I'm not sure if black found the best move there. Uh, that did work out well for me, but there could have been a better continuation for for black. Um, but anyway, now that, now that everything is cleared, uh, I am actually up a rook. So... That's the kind of thing where if something like that happens in your chess game, you, you should go back and take a look and see if maybe you could have done something better or uh, if the other player, uh, how the other player could have improved. And if you do that, I think you really will learn a lot. Okay, so let's see. Well, might as well just play the check, trade rooks, and then... Um, the king needs to find a square, and we have a check over here on d4, so let's play that. And then if the pawn moves down to b6, I have this fork, attacking king and knight. So that looks pretty good. So we win another piece here, and uh, it's starting to look really good for us. Um, okay, so, oops, oh, I got a little lazy there. Anyway, uh, I shouldn't have let black capture another piece, but it's okay. Sometimes when you're winning, it's easy to just relax a little bit. So let's get another pawn back. And, um... Oh, okay. Let's move the bishop back to b3. And uh, play a little slowly now. Okay, so actually black just gave me another pawn. Uh, and I, I lost one also, so let's see, play pawn to c3, trying to exchange another set of pawns, and king to d2, trying to capture that pawn. 
So the bishop can protect it, but I can... Well, first let's move the rook to a5, and then take on b5. And now the bishop is attacked, so it needs to do something. Okay, so... We'll take another pawn over on h5, and I should be able to grab that d3 pawn soon. Okay, and actually at this point my opponent did resign, so... Uh, that game worked out well for me, although I definitely did not play perfectly. Uh, there, there were improvements I could have made. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you're playing chess, even if you win, you can go back and find uh, things you could have done better, or maybe you made some mistakes, and uh, the next time you play, uh, you can try not to make the same mistakes. So, anyway, this one was, uh, was a win for me, so that's always a good thing. And I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I will definitely keep sharing more videos. I very much appreciate your support. Thank you.